And your conference business is important. So is prayer. Thus, we're going to take uh, some time now in the middle of our annual conference uh, to have guided prayer about two issues that are heavy on our hearts, COVID-19 and racism. During this prayer time, we ask you to keep your eyes open so that you can join the responses that you see on the screen. Although your voice may be the only voice that you hear, God will hear the chorus of all of our voices raised in supplication as we ask God's guidance in our responses to these concerns. Let us pray together. God of refuge and strength, we ask you to stop the spread of the coronavirus. Give doctors and scientists, governments and leaders, the wisdom needed to control its impact. Give us and all people the wisdom to act according to what is best, not only for ourselves and our loved ones, but for all people. Let us respond together with the words on the screen. God, be our help in this time of trouble. Jesus, you graciously heal people of all ages and races, male and female, rich and poor. Be present now with those in our society who are most vulnerable to become ill from COVID-19. Protect them from harm, O oh God, and be their companion in their loneliness and isolation. Calm their fears and anxieties and give them the peace that can only come from you. Let us respond. God, be our help in this time of anxiety. God, in these past months, we have all been affected in some way by COVID-19. Be with those who have contracted the coronavirus as they go through treatment. Bless their caregivers with strength and courage. Strengthen their families and friends who walk through this valley with them. Grant that they may live their lives without negative health effects because of their illness. Oh God, comfort us as we grieve those lost to COVID-19 and give us your peace. Now, please respond with the words on the screen. God, be our help in this time of grief. Loving God, you have delivered your people from peril time and time again. Give us hope for the future. Help us to listen to your voice as you call on us to act with wisdom during this pandemic. May we work for the good of all people at every opportunity. Let us respond. God, be our help as we move forward in hope. We're living in divisive times and flooded with images of unfairness, unrest, protest, and brutality. We grieve. Yet, we know that our hope is in God, not in politicians, not in law enforcement, not even in the church and its leaders. Our hope is in God. And yet we have a part to play in responding to this moment in our nation's history. In just three months, we have experienced several efforts put forth by our leadership. The conference leadership team has provided a resource letter to the, on the issue of racism. The Dismantling Racism a resource page located on the conference website is an active compilation of resources that is updated regularly providing valuable information that can be used by individuals and groups. The conference leadership team developed a reading list to educate themselves through discussions and enlightenment sessions. And our next steps action strategy will enable and empower our conference to move forward in providing more and more opportunities for people of color in the conference. Even those of us with best intentions fall victim to prejudice. So during this last segment of our prayer time, we will particularly focus on asking God to help us dismantle racism in our own lives, our churches, our nation, and our world. Let us pray again. Oh God, who created us in infinite variety, 
while also creating us in your own image, male and female, short and tall, black, brown, white, hear our prayer today. We pray that we can set aside the things that divide us and come together to make our world a better place for all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Oh God, open our eyes to the systemic racism that still exists in the world today. Where there is unfairness in wealth disparity, criminal justice, healthcare, education, and employment, where attitudes exist that promote white supremacy, give us the wisdom and energy to speak out. With your help, let us abolish systemic racism. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, open our eyes to the spatial racism that exists in our world today, created by places in our communities that exclude black and brown people. Forgive us for any part we have played in decisions that disproportionately affect people of color and those living in poverty, about factory placement causing pollution, disposal sites for toxic materials, and other health hazards. Give us the will to take better care of your creation and to change the racist systems in place. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God, open our eyes to the individual racism that exists in our world today. We ask your divine intervention to stop racial stereotyping, assumptions of superior status based on skin color, incidents of hate crimes against people of color and all attitudes that count other human beings as inferior. With your help, let us do the work required to give equal opportunities to all of your people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, who loves all people, work in our hearts beginning now, this very day, to continue the work of dismantling racism. Empower us to speak, to open our hearts and our lives, and to extend our circles to include others who don't look like us, think like us, or do things the same way we do. Give us the wisdom and energy to seek justice for all. And now with the confidence of being children of God, let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. 